post. Hey, Dylan, uh, congratulations. Um, what have these past couple of weeks been like from winning the national championship up until being drafted? What has it been like, and how does it feel to be selected second overall? Yeah, first of all, it's an awesome feeling. You know, I'm very blessed. I'm very, very thankful um, to have this opportunity, you know. But, you know, the past couple of weeks have been a little crazy. Um, you know, just I'm over there. You know, we had a, we had a we compete for a national championship uh, in Omaha, and that was awesome, you know, just a true blessing. And then um, – you know, I took, took some time off, kind of clocked out a little bit, went down to the beach, just hung out for a little bit. Um, but now we're here, um, you know, just, you know, we got you know, we got the draft, we had the draft here and a lot of people, a lot of friends and family. So um, great group of crowd that we had here. It was just a, you know, awesome day. And for, and for those for those who might not, national fans who might not know your game and, and where you are, can you describe a little bit what your game is, how you describe yourself and how you play? Yeah, you know, uh, I'm I'm just gonna be a hardworking guy that loves to play the game, and you know, most importantly, wants to win. You know, I think those are three characteristics of mine that, um, you know, everybody knows, and um, it's gonna it's gonna continue as I as I grow and and uh, keep playing in the future. Mark Zuckerman, MassiveSports.com. Hey, Dylan, uh, congrats and welcome. Um, everyone's talked about how you were really in the spotlight from the moment you arrived at, at LSU, and then you thrived under those circumstances, how comfortable have you always been with that and dealing with the pressure of it? And uh, I imagine given that the idea of being such a, a high pick, isn't uh, the most daunting thing in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like to say pressure is a, is a privilege, you know, it's, it's, it's how you take it. And, um, you know, growing up, I always, I always played up. I was a 2020 playing in the 2019 class. So um, expectations weren't really a, a thing of mine. And, um, you know, I, the transition, you know, seemed pretty pretty easy as I got to LSU and um you know I feel like it's the transition is going to be pretty easy as I go and uh, play for the Nationals and this is an organization that's drafted a lot of big names and had big name stars here over the last decade how much have you followed them and um what's in your mind the idea of now being next in line among those guys yeah yeah it's awesome you know somebody I looked up to was Bryce Harper um especially you know growing up um, seeing him in a, in a Nationals uniform, it was pretty awesome. So, um, you know, I'm going to play my game and, you know, hopefully have as much impact as I did uh, as him. Charlotte McBride, WUSA 9. Hey there, congratulations. Um, first off, what has today been like for you? What was your conversation like with Mike on that short one? Yeah, it was awesome. He was just congratulating me, you know, um, very just welcoming me, um, you know, to be a part of their organization. And um, I'm just so thankful, you know, and he, he told me he has cigars waiting for me. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And um, yeah, I'm just ready to go. Who are you with and who was the first person that you hugged? I was with uh, all my friends and family, you know, the, the first people I hugged were my parents and, um, you know, my girlfriend and my, just all my family, you know, I'm just, I'm very thankful, you know. Um, yeah, I, I had to, those are the first two, first few people I had to hug for sure. Congrats. Welcome to Washington. Thank you. Jessica Camarado, nationals.com. Hey, Dylan, congratulations. Uh, when you look at your scouting report, which areas of it do you take the most pride in? Yeah, um, you know, I'd, I'd say hitting, but, you know, I take a lot of pride in fielding as well. You know, um, you know, I love to just go out there and shag as much as I do, you know, hitting, I think I, I just take a lot of pride in that. I, you know, I want to be a complete player. Um, so going out there, I could go check out there for an hour if I, if I wanted to. So it's a, uh, I take a lot of pride in, in all my tools for sure. You said that you looked to bring that out to you and I'm sorry, you were breaking up a little bit. You mind say that one more time? Sorry, I'm at the draft. Yeah. We you looked up to Bryce Harper. What was it about his game that you learned from that do you hope to bring up to the field? Yeah, just, you know, how he's just a complete player. You know, he's out hitting homers left and right, and, you know, he can play it in just an impact um, game in the outfield, you know. So he, he, he just has that ability to impact both sides of the baseball. And, you know, I'm going to work hard to, you know, just be like Bryce Harper and, you know, almost um, – you know, just this, that's somebody who I looked up to. And, you know, I'm going to, you know, just work to be like him. Winston Hilton, Channel 7 News in D.C. 
Hey, Dylan, first off, congratulations. Welcome to DC. Um, have you ever visited the nation's capital? Um, have you ever visited? I've never visited, honestly, you know, but I've heard great things. I've heard uh, some amazing things. You know, I'm really looking forward to it. I heard the city is beautiful, just a great place to live. Um, you know, the, the development is uh, top notch. So, you know, it's kind of in my backyard, too. So um, the, the uh, spring training. So I'm, you know, looking forward to it. What do you want to tell Nationals fans about yourself? Uh, what, what, what's your most accomplished trait? What are you hoping to work on the most? Something that's something I'm going to work on the most, um, you know, I just I'm just I'm, first thing I would like to tell them is that I'm just a, the, the hardest working guy and um, somebody that's going to give it all no matter what. You know, um, you know, I just I feel like there's so much uh, room for improvement um, in my game and I feel like I can just I'm, I'm constantly growing and I love to learn. Um, so I'm really I'm willing to ask questions around the locker room and and just, you know, constantly learn and try to get myself better and, you know, also get them uh, everybody else better. Congrats and welcome. Thank you. Kyle Andrews, Fox Sports Radio. Hello, Dylan. Um, just number one, just coming into an organization that has been in the process of rebuilding. Um, what, how does that start, you know, your your expectations of just coming here and, and being able to, you know, parlay that into, um, you know, big and hopeful um a hopeful career of of success i mean just in terms of like i know they they've changed with analytics analytics have you know been boosted quite a bit here um but what have you done personally how what what have you looked at that kind of wins to the idea that you know this will be a pretty successful organization here soon yeah you know at the end of the day i'm just gonna play my game you know like you know obviously the atmosphere and everything's gonna change so for me, it's just I got to play my game. Everything will kind of just take care of itself. You know, uh, I've grown tremendously um, starting off my first couple of years. I was a guy that kind of led by example. And, uh, you know, my third year, I, I led more vocally. So uh, that was a big goal of mine going into that year. And um, I think it really, truly impacted us and helped us win a national championship. So um, I'm really going to keep bringing uh, what I've been bringing to the table. And hopefully we'll, we'll bring a, a World Series to this, to this organization. All right, uh, Jacques Suset from WAFB TV in Louisiana. Hey, Dylan, congratulations, man! Thank you, Jacques. Um, a historic day. This has never happened. A uh, school getting the number one and number two uh, with Skeens and you to follow. Um, just your thoughts on that. And did you and Paul talk like joke? Hey, am I going to go? Are you going to go? I mean, what was the discussion like? Yeah, no, honestly, we really, we really didn't. You know, it's. Uh, we, we definitely contacted each other before the, the draft and just congratulated each other on uh, just a terrific uh, career so far. And, you know, just just, you know, just congratulate each other, really. You know, um, I have all the love for that kid. That kid is one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in my life. So, um, yeah, there was no really button heads on who was going to go one or two. But uh, I'm just happy. I'm in, uh, I'm in a great organization like like Washington. And second, um, now that the process is complete. You going from high school to college, enjoying college, being a college player, winning a national championship, and still being the number two pick in the draft. How does that all feel now that you made that choice? Yeah, uh, looking back, it was the best decision I've ever made in my life for sure. You know, um, you know, I, there was a lot of gamble in that. It was a hard decision as as an eighteen year old, and um, yeah, looking back, best decision I've ever made. And you know, I would encourage kids to do that and, and um, trust trust their guts for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vasilio Stickelau from Fox in Louisiana. Hey, Dylan. Uh, how much do you know about the organization as it stands right now? And uh, how do you think you're going to be able to enter this organization with that, with the leadership qualities that you do? And how do you think your leadership style will evolve over the next several years? Yeah. You know, I know, uh, I know it's a great organization. You know, I know they got a great development uh, program and, you know, in a, a beautiful city and um, a beautiful field. So um, I'm just going to do me, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to keep doing me, keep uh, being the leader that I am and keep pushing guys to, to their limits, you know? And so, uh, yeah. And if I keep pushing them, I'll push myself as well. And, you know, I'm just going to constantly grow um, as a team and uh, you know, that's the name of the game. So I'm looking forward to it. All 
All right, we have time for three more. We'll go to Leah Van from The Advocate. Hey, Dylan. It's Leah from The Advocate. Um, congratulations, first of all. It's been a pleasure covering your career. Um, I was wondering, the, um, Mike Rizzo was saying that Washington has kept their eye on you since high school, obviously. Do you remember kind of the reaction to you taking that college route and how has the relationship kind of grown or flourished over time? Yeah, you know, um, you know, as a young kid, you know, it's uh, it's hard to make that decision, you know, taking yourself out and going to college. And, um, you know, like I said, looking back, it was the best decision I've ever made. You know, I um, I've definitely grown for sure. You know, um, you know, guys like Belly and, and um, Dugas and all those guys, just you know, really helped me grow as a player. And I'm very thankful for that. And so, you know, looking forward, I'm, I'm looking forward to those guys, to, you know, bring me in with open arms and, uh, you know, help me grow. And, you know, I'm going to keep, like I said, I keep doing, doing me and I'm going to help them grow as well. So looking forward to it again. David Aldridge from The Athletic. Hey, Dylan, welcome to Washington, man. Thank you. Uh, I was, I know this is something you've been building for for the last several years, but I do wonder what being at a program like LSU in a conference like the SEC and having the expectations and the history of that program did for you in terms of your development. And then on top of that, adding schemes the last couple of years to kind of push yourself and you push him and how that helped you with your development as well. Yeah. You know, I was just blessed to have these such a great organization um, and, you know, great teammates like Paul to, to, to push me and, and develop me. You know, they have they had everything. They had um, all the resources that I need, every um, every tool that I needed. You know, I, and on top of that, I had some of the best coaches in the country um, being able to coach me. So um, I was just like I said, I was very thankful. You know, they pushed me to a whole nother limit that I really didn't think I could reach. And, um, you know, now that I'm here, I know that I can hit another level. So, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to keep working. You know, um, like I said, I'm, I'm I was blessed, blessed to have great people around me to help me get better. And, um, you know, I'm just. Looking forward to be surrounded by even, uh, you know, just as good as people and if not better people um, in the in the Nationals organization. Congrats. Thank and you. we will fit. We'll finish with Matthew Paris from The Washington Times. Yeah. Hi there. Uh, just to go back to Bryce real quick. Have you ever met him? And um, just I, I didn't know, given the Scott Boris connection. And then also, have you do you know anyone in the Nationals organization player wise? Like, have you met anyone or are you friends with anyone? Anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never met Bryce. Um, I've never met him. Um, obviously, he's in the same uh, – we have the same Asian and same uh, people. But, uh, no, I, I think the one guy that comes to mind is C.J. Abrams, you know, uh, played with him at USA. Uh, so, you know, looking forward to seeing him again. And, um, yeah, that's really it, honestly. You know, I'm just – I'm really looking forward to seeing new faces and, you know, uh, pushing these guys. Thank you. All right, everybody. Uh, first off, thank you, Dylan, for hopping on. I know it's a busy night. Appreciate it. Uh, media, appreciate you guys, too, hopping on on short notice. Uh, we will be back on the